Today on Project GTI we're going to do a quick oil and filter change. A really simple job and you don't need a great deal of tools and equipment to get it done. Um, we need rag, oil drain pan, engine oil, uh, the oil filter obviously, some gloves, torque wrench, screwdriver and our draper socket set. Before you start make sure you have everything that you need. Uh, most importantly make sure you have the right grade of oil and the right amount of oil. Your owner's manual will tell you what specification you need um, and you can also use the oil lookup on our site that'll tell you what oil your car takes and the correct amount that it needs as well. You're going to be working underneath the car so you must make sure that it's supported securely on axle stands. The first job is to drain the oil out and we're going to do it with a warm engine to help it flow out more easily and also remove the oil filler cap as well, that just helps a little bit. The sump plug is here on the back of the sump and it takes a 19mm socket so you're just going to loosen that Make sure you have your oil drain pan handy and um, some cloth or cardboard down just to protect if there are any drips and spills. Make sure that's in position. going to be a little bit messy regardless of what you do. Once the oil is drained out fully you can replace the sump plug. In an ideal world you should be using a new one um, or a new washer at the very least. Um, this particular car the washer doesn't come away from the sump plug so you need to get a new one. When you're tightening this up just finger tight first and then you can tighten it up with a ratchet. Because the sump is aluminium you need to be very careful not to over tighten it um, and if you can just if you have a way of checking the torque settings I think there are a couple of different ones uh, different size sump washers that were fit, uh, sump plugs that were fitted to these engines and they do have different torque settings one is 30 newton meters I think and the other one is 50 newton meters so you can just check which one you have before you tighten it and as I said be very careful not to over tighten you can crack the sump itself. So now moving on to changing the oil filter itself, you first need to drain the oil filter housing and it has this little cap which you need to remove and then there's a one-way valve inside. There is a special Volkswagen tool but you don't need it. So without the special VW tool it is going to be a little bit more messy but you just need to release this one-way valve here, uh, be very careful and you just push it up and the oil flows out. Once the oil is drained from the housing we need a 36mm socket and an extension and we can just remove the housing itself. The filter comes out complete with the housing. Next we need to remove the filter from the housing. It just snaps out, you leave that to drain in your oil pan and then we need to just give this a good clean up and reseat the valve inside there as well. And we just give a quick wipe to the oil housing that's on the car as well before we refit the new filter and the new o-ring. So give the uh, oil filter housing a good clean down inside and out and make sure that the drain plug is reseated properly and then you need to remove the old o-ring um, it can be quite tricky with slippy fingers just get it there give that another wipe down so it is possible that your new and old filter might look a bit different but bear in mind on this particular car you have to take part of the old filter out and reuse it in the new filter Now we have to refit the oil seal and you just need a drip of uh, clean engine oil. To help seal. 
Make sure you put that in the right way around. It has the tab pointing upwards so you can take it out again. Make sure that's properly seated. Pop in your new filter. So to help prevent any oil starvation while we, when we first start the car back up again, we're going to fill this uh, up with new clean engine oil just to kind of around about this level here. Now we can refit the new filter and housing and just be very, very careful that you get this on straight and you don't cross thread it. So it should tighten up by, by hand quite easily. Get your torque wrench and then um, just tighten this to 25 Newton meters. Just make sure you have no drips or leaks and um, then you can refit the dust cover. Before we fill the car back up with oil and check the levels we need to drop the car back down off the axle stand so that it's completely level uh, and we get a proper reading when we check the oil. Now we're back up the top of the engine and we can fill the engine with oil. Just be 100% sure that you've got the sump plug back in as you wouldn't be the first person in history to uh, fill the engine up with the sump plug still out and all your lovely engine oil ends up all over the floor. And we know that this car takes 4.6 litres of oil so this is a 4 litre bottle so we can put all of this oil in and then um, we'll get to the 1 litre bottle and we can just check the levels and, and top up gradually when we're getting nearer to the, um, the mark that it takes. Uh, we just check the oil level now to see where we are because we don't want to overfill it and have to drain any more out. So we're about three quarters full there. I don't know if you can see that on the dipstick. So we need a bit more. Okay. Um. So we know the car takes 4.6 litres. We've put four in already. Uh, there's the half litre mark, so that's 4.5 litres. So we know we must be somewhere close at the moment with the oil at this level. So we check the dipstick again. And that's spot on, right at the maximum level. So that's us more or less done. Now we need to just clear out the engine bay, make sure we don't leave anything behind inside. Um, oil filler cap back on. Once everything's cleared out the engine bay and you're sure everything's tightened up, start the engine. Run it for five minutes or so, or just a couple of minutes, let the oil circulate around the engine, um, turn it off, let it settle for a few minutes, and then check your dipstick again to make sure your levels are okay. If it needs topping up, top it up. If not, you're good to go.